What up, gang? It's your boy Za back with another banger. Hey, we hear so much about S1s in our community, right? But today, I really want to break it down and give everybody a good, strong understanding and a strong foundation of the birds and the bees. Let's get right into it. Get it! Like, comment, share, subscribe, you heard me? Yeah, you know it. From a mile high, give credit to Zaza. Genetics, genetics, genetics. All y'all niggas read the genetics. I don't know why you try to sell it. I'm smoking the strain. <clears throat> it's killing my lungs, but damn, it's easing my brain. I'm losing. All right. I need y'all to hit the like button right now. Take a, I'm going to wait. Take a couple seconds because this is how you help me. <laughs> go ahead. Go ahead. All right. I'm going to wait. Yeah. Cool. Appreciate y'all, man. Smash that like button. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. And hit that notification bell so you can be notified every time I drop this banger. All right. Check it out, gang. So. Self-pollination is the process of uh, male stamen or anthers pollinating a female ovule. And it's all the same plant. So cross-pollination is the complete opposite. It requires another plant um, in order to pollinate and reproduce. So many plants are cross-pollinators and many are self-pollinators. Um, so, and when we think about cross-pollinators, they typically rely on the birds and the bees. When we think of uh, pollinating birds, we think of a hummingbird, right? Um, and a hummingbird, super bright colors. They kind of have the colors of flowers, which they are attracted to the flowers because of the nectar. Um, while they are extracting the nectar with their long beak, they typically either bump their head or a wing or something on some of the pollen and transfer it to another flower in the area. So it's pretty fascinating how birds play a huge role uh, as pollinators when it comes to cross-pollination. And then we got the bees, man. We know how much bees love honey to collect pollen. And bees play a huge role as well uh, in several different species of bees. So we know about the honey bee. It, pollen sticks right to it. And they are some really efficient pollen collectors. Then we have bumblebees. Bumblebees, uh, which you hear buzzing around, they buzz their wings and operate almost like a tuning fork. So when their wings are buzzing, they're creating a vibration that's knocking pollen off and around all in their body and wherever else. So let's think about for a second and grasp the concept of genetic information that's intended to be passed down from one generation to the next, but it's actually being derived from one single parent. So that can cause some issues. Absolutely cause some issues when we think in terms of um, reduce genetic diversity. You gotta understand, the genetic makeup of a progeny or offspring is almost identical to its parent. Since there's no exchange of genetic material with no other individuals, I mean, we, there is no diversity. And we talked about how important genetic diversity was in the previous, you know, a couple of previous videos. Um, adaptability, right? You know, uh, when we lose genetic diversity, we lose that ability and that adaptability to changes in uh, or upcoming changes in the environment. Inbreeding depression, one I talk about all the time. That's one of the fastest ways to uh, achieve inbreeding depression. What's, what's more closely related inbreeding than you breeding with yourself, right? Um, so keep that in mind as well. Uh, inbreeding depression is definitely something you will face if you continuously self-pollinate or S1. And that is lack of athleticism uh, lack of vigor overall lack of fitness now don't get me wrong while self-pollination can cause some uh, short-term reproductive advantages um, you got to be careful when you use it as a tool because as far as the long term you can definitely affect the evolution uh, or, or the ability to to enhance or evolve your population now while we talked about some of the drawbacks of uh, s1 and self-pollination 
uh, there are some advantages as well. So I wanted to get into some of the positive aspects of using S1s as a tool when used correctly. I mean, first one is the most obvious one, reproductive assurance, right? So when we think in terms of maybe not having a male available, maybe not having pollen available at all, it gives us that reproductive assurance to say, hey, at least I know I can continue on building my population or preserving my population. So that's a huge one. S1s produce stable genotypes. In the event we have desirable traits, that's the key. If your mom is a mom that has undesirable traits, then you best believe it's going to be in the offspring. And it's going to be in the offspring at a higher rate than her population carried. So keep that in mind. Um, S1s only produce stable genotypes in the event that we're dealing with desirable traits because otherwise you'll be fixing undesirable traits at a very fast and dominant rate so be careful make sure your parents are good parents that do not carry undesirable traits make sure you visit the website man the khalifa Genetics has just dropped, man. We got Aladdin's push, Aladdin's skunk, Maharaja Hayes. So make sure you cop up while surprise last. And check out AC Infinity. Use that coupon code Team Zaza for a discount at checkout, man. All right, let's tackle the biggest myth about self pollination. Self pollination's herm. No, no. Bad genetics, herm. And if you are self-pollinating a plant with bad genetics, then you're going to double up on all of that. And it's going to be even more in the offspring. So make sure that if you are purchasing S1s or making S1s, use a mother that is strong, healthy, vigorous, you know, all of the things that we look for. And in our favorite, favorite specimens. So I hope that cleared up some S1 confusion for the guys, man, and the gals out there, man. I appreciate y'all's support. Y'all know how much I love y'all, man. It's Team Zaza. It's QCE. Quality, community, and education. We bring quality to this community through education. Do me one big favor, man. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell if you already have it, so you stay in tune for every time I drop a banger. It's your boy Zai, man. I'm out of here.